hello everybody. Lucifera here. Um, I have been asked to expand upon the subject of love magic and also uh, to tell about um, my love lists. You see, when you are about to do love magic, you are about to cast a love spell. You want to uh, give the universe a picture of the person you want to attract into your life. And that is why such to make a list or a blueprint of your future partner is quite important. Uh, it's like when you go to the supermarket and uh, you have a list with you and you can just pick the items you need and um, pay for them and then you will be very happy with your shopping so uh, spell casting is like cooking for example uh, i think it's very important to state that you want um, if you are a woman, then you would write, I want a male and a straight male, because a gay man cannot respond to your feelings. And what if you attract such a gay man and fall in love with him? You don't want that emotional pain of unanswered love. You then uh, can write that I want a male and uh, he is a straight male with such and such sexual preferences. It's also important that you state that I want a male with whom I can have a comfortable sexual life because you don't want to attract someone with whips and so on okay if you like it but what if you don't like it so you have to think about this and that you also can state if the financial status is important to you you state that i want such and such partner with this kind of income from a job or that I want a partner who has his own business. Uh, then you can write a male who is attracted to me and attractive to me. This is also important and loyal in love and single. The word single is very very important when you make such lists because what can happen if you write for example i want a male who is single or who will soon be available for a long-term love relationship with me you will attract a married man and then when you have um, when you two start to have an affair well he will soon be available for you because he will have to divorce his wife will know about you and him and there will be problems so state that you want a single man and emotionally available and able to commit to your relationship and also state when when you do the spell it's very important that you state that i want a long-term love relationship because if you skip this word love the universe does not have any sense of humor and it may deliver to you a business relationship or some other type of platonic relationship. Um, um, yeah, 
it can happen. Uh, the ability to commit in a relationship is very important. You, you state this also. And if, if you, for example, want only a short relationship, then you have to state it that I want um, a short relationship just for fun and so on because you don't want to hurt anyone. What if you attract a serious person to you and this person likes you and falls in love with you but you have no serious intentions so you have to kind of describe for the universe exactly what you want and whom you want and of course generous and kind and a gentleman or a good woman and also if if you are a gay man then uh, it's quite important to state state like this I want a partner uh, for example a man who is receptive to my love and who is willing to have um, a sex life with me because you don't want to attract a straight man to you who, is, who does not respond to your flirtings or yeah to your attentions and who is moreover who is not uh, n not receptive to having a gay man in his life for a long-term love relationship and also if you are a female a lesbian then you have to state that I uh, ask the universe to attract to me a, if you want a female partner a female partner who is open and receptive to having a long-term love relationship with me and sex with me and all these things and also for for women I want to point out that it is very important that you state clearly I want a comfortable sexual life I want a comfortable sexual and love life with my future partner because uh, you could be if you are not um, clear on this subject you could be in a good position to attract someone who likes some special kind of um, pleasures in bed and um, you will feel discomfort you maybe like the person and then you fall in love but you are not an exact match you are not compatible and with time uh, the irritation, your irritation over the routines in bed will grow large and whenever you express it or you say no I don't want this then there will be friction in the relationship and uh, your partner may actually begin to seek another partner and everything will fall apart and you will be miserable and sad so you have to think about this just sit down and take a pen and paper and write down everything you think is important and mm, the higher demands you have on the type of person you want to attract into your life it will take a longer time for you to attract this person then 
if your demands are high, for example, I want a man with a high income, I want this and that and this and special kind of sex and this and that with a large house and a swimming pool and dogs and snakes and parrots it will take a long time for you to find this kind of man with parrots, dogs and swimming pool and everything else and these spells are done during the full moon this is the best time to do a love spell and a love spell has its duration during say three to six months and it is so these spells are so powerful you will be pulled into action for example you may open an account on some dating site and become flooded with potential love partners but there is again there's no guarantee that you find your love there might be hundred or thousand such potential love partners who are interested in you flirting with you but you do not find them attractive so in these cases then when you see that no it's not working you have to go back to your list and check uh, once again and form it a little bit more nicer and do a spell again and then again uh, continue your search after your perfect um, love partner and I want to say that people who think that love spells um, just um, kind of manifest the perfect love partner very fast they are not experienced enough yes of course this could happen if you have extreme luck in life if everything is lined up for you but this is rarely the case you have to continue your search and you have to be careful especially if you are a woman because nowadays there are men on dating sites who uh, want only sex from women so you have to be careful here and uh, listen and take it slowly because men usually want it at once for example within one week or two weeks but if you say stop I want to take it easy let's go to the cinema let's go to the museum let's take a trip to for some sightseeing let's do this and that and we wait with the sex the one who who has the goal to get sex out of you he will vanish because he will not be interested in spending money on you he will not be interested in uh, spending his time on you and his uh, spending his attentions on you he will just vanish and uh, don't be sad then you know that this person was not right for you and he wanted only sex for you and it is for your highest good that he disappeared don't rush into the relationship uh, because when a man is genuinely genuinely interested in a woman he will give her attention he will spend his time on her and he will spend his money on her it does not matter where the woman lives he will come to her place just to see her so the right person if it is a, the right lover for you you will notice it you will get the attention from this person and the relationship will feel good 
to you, you will have no doubts. But we have doubts because the people we meet are not the right people for us. Well, and this is all I think. And also, when you date the people, listen, listen, speak less and listen to what they say because they are telling about themselves who they are and ask about their past pay attention for example if a man tells you oh i had this woman i had that woman and i had that woman then i change her for another woman and then i after after two months i changed her for another woman then you know that he will change you too after, for, so we say, four months and you will be sad. So listen to this, listen to this kind of uh, behavior that alarms you. And, um, well, and continue your search. Um, if you don't find uh, the perfect per partner, the perfect woman, or the perfect man at once. It's okay. Just continue your search and you will find your partner. You have to be so happy with yourself, with your life, that you don't even need your partner. Don't be desperate. And the worst thing that you can do is to seek a new love partner when you're heartbroken. Don't do that because you will be in a very good place to attract a catastrophe to yourself. People who use you only for sex, for example, three months relationship and then it's over. I receive lots of emails from women complaining, my lover left me.